Olympic athletes are very good at bouncing back and feeling good after losing a race. So what can we learn from them to help us in our own lives to overcome stress and depression? We know that one of the main influences on our mood in any situation is a related memory. We also know that distressing memories can upset our mood and concentration. To protect us from this, sometimes our brains put up a firewall. But here's the thing. Although the intention is good, the outcome may not be helpful, as over time, many environmental cues, acting out with our conscious awareness, will link us to the firewalled memory, so we get the feeling, but not the memory. This activates the control centre of our right brain, fight or flight, sympathetic nervous system. Our body responds with racing heart and tense muscles, telling our brain something is wrong, but not what it is. The brain in turn tells the body to be alert for danger. We become wary and withdrawn, and bingo, we're trapped in a vicious cycle. We feel bad without knowing why. The good news is that we can use the body to break this vicious cycle using relaxation techniques and slowing the breathing. This activates our left brain relax and relate parasympathetic system which automatically switches off our fight or flight system. This body switch results in a positive mindset where it's easier to find positive memories and create positive visualisations. This mindset also acts as a safety net, allowing us to change the disabling effect of distressing memories. You see, every distressing memory activates a network of related memories, and the first three of these are key to our resilience. How we react comes down to simple mathematics. If two of them are negative, then the distressing memory is firewalled. If two of these three are positive, then the network acts as a coping resource and the memory will not need firewalled. Our research has shown that with a simple audio track, it's possible to change one negative network memory to become positive. This can allow us to safely remove the firewall, come to terms with the distressing memory and move on. We think that Olympic athletes naturally link to positive coping memories this is how they bounce back from defeat. This is the nub of resilience. We have worked in the NHS with anxious and depressed people and have observed their recovery when using the body switch combined with positive future visualisations of self. But all of us, including anxious and depressed people, can practice and develop this ability. By working with the body and the mind, we can embrace the possibility of change and growth and become champions in our own lives. We have called this positive mental training.